guys. Good evening. Good evening. Well, okay, guys, we are going to start today. It is eight o'clock already. And uh, for the moment, we are just 10. But hopefully the other ones are going to be connecting through, through the time, okay? So um, how's your day going? How was your day? Was it good? Yes, are you tired? All right, so it's so nice to see you back. Let's see some faces. That's really cool, okay. Welcome back guys, once again to the class. Um, yesterday we saw a little bit about the simple present, right? So I hope you haven't forget that information because today we will see a little bit about the simple present, but in some different things. Because yesterday we saw a little bit about everything like Affirmative sentences, negative sentences, like that, that was it. Like it, the rules, some of the rules that you need to remember. But before we start, let me ask you some questions just to verify if you remember a little bit about what we saw yesterday. So let me see who can tell me what happened when I have a verb that it ends in CH. If I have a verb that ends in CH, what do I have to do? Add E. Just the letter E. And is S. That, the letter ES. Is that right? The other ones? Is that correct? Yes. In the verb um, it is and uh, no, I not the other ones. Okay, thank you so much for your participation, Kelly. That was very good. Okay, so I think that pretty much you understood a little bit about. The simple present with the positive and negative statements. And uh, can someone tell me what is the formula or what is the structure that we need to follow in order to create a positive sentence? So just okay. more bear, more okay. complement. Okay. That's very good. That's good. So can someone tell me what is the or what are the auxiliaries that we need to use to create the negative statements? Is there an auxiliar? Yes. If the answer is yes, which one are dates? Done. Does and what else? Do it does. Do does, yes. Do does. Like in Spanish, do does, yeah? Just for you to remember. All right, so very good. So for today, guys, as I was telling you, we are going to see another part of the simple present. Yesterday, we saw simple present with positive and negative sentences. And today, we're going to learn a little bit about how do we create questions in simple present. So that is going to be the topic for today. So let's start. Let me share the presentation with you. Let me see. So getting here. Can you see the slide? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Perfect, so it is our third class, guys. The third one. And well, as I was telling you, 
we will still see the simple present, but today is going to be about questions. Today we're going to learn how do we create questions when it comes to the simple present, okay? So let's start. Here we have some examples or the way that we need to create them. Okay, pay attention to this. Let me get this here. Here we have the personal pronouns, I, you, we, they, right? And here we have the auxiliar that we use for those personal pronouns, yes? We use the auxiliary do for the personal pronouns, I, you, we, they. And the auxiliary that we use for he, she, it, the third person, it is thus. So in order for us to create a question, it's very easy. What do you have to do? Before the personal, or uh, yeah, before the personal pronoun, you need to add the auxiliar. For example, do I like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? Very easy. You just need to put the auxiliar at the beginning of the question and put a question mark, a sign of interrogation at the end, and that will be automatically a question in simple present. That is for the personal pronouns, I, do, we, they. But what about he, she, and it? We do the same thing. We put das at the beginning and then the question mark, and we can say, does he like cheese? Does she like cheese? Does it like cheese? Something very important, guys, algo muy importante, that you need to remember, the intonation of the question, the intonación. It's very important to make an intonation when you are making a question. It's important to make the intonation of una pregunta. Because is it the is it the same? Uh, if I say, "Does she like cheese?" or "Does she like cheese?" It's the, a little bit of an intonation at the end. Even in Spanish, we make an intonation. Incluso en español decimos, ya comiste, right? That's an intonation that we also have to make in English. So that's very important. So for the answers, for the short answers, para las respuestas cortas, bien fácil. Podemos decir yes, utilizando el pronombre, then the pronoun, and after that, the auxiliary. So I can say, yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. Yes, you do. Or if it is a third person, you can say, yes, he does. Yes, she does. Or yes, it does. That is for the short answer, para la respuesta corta. So if I ask you guys, do you like cheese? And if you just want to say, yes, I do. Can someone tell me, puede decirme alguien, por qué respondo con I cuando hago la pregunta con you? If I ask the question, do you like cheese? The answer will be, yes, I like, or yes, I do. ¿Por qué respondo con I y no con you? Porque le están preguntando a usted. Exactly. And that happens the same when someone asks you, si tú te estás haciendo la pregunta o or, or le estás haciendo la pregunta a alguien más, do I like this? Ahí vas a responder, yes, you do. O alguien te va a responder, yes, you do. So that is the way that we need to follow um, 
or that's the way that we have to do it in English, okay? So any questions so far, guys? If there's no questions, so I, I'm gonna keep moving to the next slide. Yo tengo una duda. Oh, yes. En las, mm -hmm. en las preguntas, cuando se ocupa el das, ¿por qué no cambia el verbo? Okay. Es que recuerdo que ajá, en las anteriores le ponía, digamos, likes, cheese. Correct. Something very important that you need to remember is that when it comes to questions, you will never, ever modify the verb. Remember that you are going to modify the verb only in the positive sentences. But when it comes to question, even though, aunque ya sabes, that you are using third person, you will never, ever have to modify. Never. Just for positive sentences. Solo para or oraciones positivas. Yes? Okay. Is it clear now? Sí, gracias. En este caso, solo el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Se modifica. Do y does. Mm, let's say like that, yes, it is possible. But when it comes to grammar, Sí, si se fijan, ahí el auxiliar es como que lo modificamos, right? That's why it comes thus, right? If we follow that, si seguimos esa, esa regla. But um, grammatically, those auxiliar are formed because of the grammar that someone did in the past. Pero si lo tomamos de la forma that you said it, it will be right as well. So... Para que no se confundan, lo vamos a tomar de la manera en que tú lo dijiste, ¿ok? So, no questions? Can I go to the next one? Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, cuando usamos you para tú y para ustedes, a mí me pasó con una aplicación, hace una pregunta, normalmente tiene que ver con el contexto para saber si es eh, tú o ustedes y en esa, en esa ocasión me salió mala porque yo puse tú y en realidad según la aplicación era, era ustedes, pero no había en sí un contexto, una foto ni nada como para hacer referencia a qué, cómo, cómo distinguimos cuando se trata de tú y de ustedes. That, that's kind of tricky. It's un poco como con truco. And that's why sometimes applications are not 100% okay. Why? Because they are programs, right? That is uh, a program that someone created just for you to help you in the language. But when it comes to speaking, it is, there's nothing specifically that is going to tell you, okay, this is for ustedes and this is for you. No, it just comes to the logic, to logica, right? Because for example, I am talking right now to you. I'm talking to you. En este momento, si yo digo, I'm talking to you, tú no sabrías identificar si yo me estoy refiriendo que estoy hablando directamente contigo o estoy hablando con ustedes. Lo vamos a tomar, let's say it, but we're going to, to, to take it and the way or the environment or the logic that we are living in the moment. If I say, I'm talking to you, en este momento que yo digo, I'm talking to you, tú me acabas de hacer la pregunta. Entonces, lógicamente, si yo digo, I'm talking to you, me estoy refiriendo a ti, que me acabas de hacer la pregunta, no a ustedes. A veces viene más que todo con lógica. I don't know if you understand my point. Okay. Did you understand or not? Or are you still there with the doubt? I am understand. You understood? Okay. So if there's, is there any other question, guys? Please ask the questions. Ninguna pregunta aquí es sin sentido. Make any question, any doubt, something that you want to know. Make the questions, ask the questions. 
because that's the way that you're going to learn, guys. Please do it, okay? Teacher, um, pregunta. Cuando se hace este una pregunta con el do o con el dos, este se pone primero el do y el do antes que el verbo. Yeah, exactly. For example, here. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Primero do, luego pronombre, luego verbo y luego complement. Compliment. Okay, thank you. That is you. the structure that we need to follow. So, any other question, guys? No. Okay, let me go to the next one. So, as you may remember, yesterday we saw kind of contractions, right? So, here comes the explanation for that. The negative contractions that we have in English, those are the ones that we have over there. I was telling you yesterday that we can say don't or do not, and both of them are correct. So the, as it says at the bottom, there's no difference in meaning. That means that if you use a contraction or if you do not use a contraction, the meaning of the sentence is not going to change. It will still be the same. So we can say don't, that it will equals to do not, or in the third person, we can say doesn't, that it will be equals to does not. That's pretty much the same thing. We have an example over there that says, I don't like meat. Or it will be equals to, I do not like meat. Yeah. So it is up to you guys. Si ustedes se sienten more comfortable saying do not, Say it in that way. There's no problem at all. It, it's still correct. Or if you feel more comfortable saying don't, that's it. That's good as well. Both of them are correct. And the meaning doesn't change. But it is most of the time American people or American speakers, they like to use contractions. And most of the time they are going to talk to you with a lot of contractions. So it's more common for them to speak uh, or to talk to you with contractions. But it really doesn't matter if you use a contraction or not. It is up to you, okay? You decide or the way you feel more comfortable. So, okay, let's see. Let me ask someone. Um, Roxana, hello. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. Fine. Okay, very good. Please make the correct form of the third person with the first verb. Uh, I don't I don't understand. Okay. You have to make or to correct the verb, but do it in third person. Tercera, tercera persona. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now? Go, uh, goes. Goes. Right. Thank you so much. That's it. Mario Barahona, number two. Eh, siempre tercera persona? Yes, third person. All of them are going to be in third person. Catch. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. When it comes to the third Catch person, it. the pronunciation is going to change. Catch it. Catch it. Correct. Okay. So, Eric Ramirez, number three. Uh, good evening, teacher. It washes. Washes is in a Affirmative, uh, third person. Very good, thank you so much. Beatriz Inocente, next one. Kisses. Kisses, very good. Um, Roberto Carlos. Hello. Uh, 
Number five is Fisher. Repeat it again. And number five is Fishes. Fixes. Fixes. Okay. All right. Let me see who else. Tatiana Martinez. The next one. Bacia. What do we add there? Las letras serían de ponerle I E S. Hay que agregarle. I E S. Is that correct, uh, Rosa Maya? Is that correct what she's saying? Oh, I think I, I couldn't hear nothing at all. So is it correct, guys, for everybody? Is it correct what she said? She said that we need, uh, that we have to add I-E-S. Is that correct? Okay. No, I'm asking you, is that correct? Cuando termina en Y, se le agrega I-E-S. Y se elimina la Y. Okay. So it will be Marius. Right? Yes. Okay. The next one. No. Let's... Yeah, yeah, right. I'm just making this face sometimes. A veces solo hago rostro como de duda porque quiero saber que ustedes estén seguros de lo que están diciendo. Okay. So if sometimes okay. just see me like making a doubt face, it's just for you to bear for me to verify if you if you feel like okay, that's correct. Hey, so okay, mm -hmm. next one. Study. Studies. 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 Okay. Studies. Right. Angelica, next one. Carries. Carries. Very good. Carries. Very good. Catherine Ramirez. The last one. War Warriors. Warriors. Very good. So I think that pretty much we understood how does it work. But guys, um, yesterday I forgot to tell you a rule that is very important. I get, yesterday we saw that the verbs that finish and the letter Y, we have to change for a letter I and add ES, right? But there's also another rule for that. The rule that I told you yesterday, la regla que les dije ayer, es que si terminaba en Y, la íbamos a cambiar por I y le agregaríamos ES, right? Pero right. eso lo vamos a hacer Only, solamente si de antes de la letra Y hay una consonante. ¿Qué pasa cuando no haya una consonante, sino que haya una vocal? En ese caso, no lo vamos a cambiar. No vamos a cambiar la Y por una I. Solo, agregar, solo agregaríamos la letra S. And let me give you an example. We have, do you know what the verb play means? Play. play. Exactly. Exactly. Play. With the verb play, we do not have to modify the verb. Why? Because before the letter Y, it comes a vowel. And because it comes a vowel, we, we, we don't have to modify it. We are going to add just the letter S. And we're going to say plays. Okay? Okay. Perfect. So that was just for you to for you to know and to get another rule to your well for you to know another rule. So let's see what else we have. This. All right, here we come. Here we come to the short answer and we have some examples over there. 
about how to make uh, the questions. And I will need some help. Let me see. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to give you a number and you will read. We'll have me reading the full line, horizontal, okay? So Hazel, you will read number one, Angelica number two, Tatiana Martinez number three, Mario Barahona number four, Roxana number five, uh, Beatriz number six, and uh, let me see who else. Lisette Castillo, the last one, okay? So please go ahead, guys. Sorry, we only read. Yeah, just read horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. Do you like chocolate? Yes, Choc I do. Chocolate. 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 Do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Very good. Number two. Do I need a pencil? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Very good. Number three. Do you do you don't like chocolate? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Can someone tell me why in the number three the answer it is we? Es porque se refiere a ambos, por both. Exactly. Thank you. So, number four. Do they like chocolate? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Very good. Next one. Does he like chocolate? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay. Next one. Does she like chocolate? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Very good. And the last one? Does it have for wealth? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does it have for wheels? Tiene cuatro llantas. Does it well. have for wheels? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Is there any question about this? I know that this can be pretty easy, right? It's not that complicated. When it comes to short answer, it's not that complicated. Una consulta. Yes? Una consulta. El you bot, eh, siempre que, es, que se ponga el bot, es cuando se refiere a varios. Do you mean number two? Number three? Three. 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 Yes. Number three? Do you bot? Both. Um, Both. Esa, esa TH casi siempre, almost always, but not always, casi siempre, cuando tengamos una TH, vamos a hacer la pronunciación de la letra Z en español, el sonido fonético, como, como aire nada más. So we are going to say both. 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 Yeah? So do you both both. Like Yes, very good. Both. Coming, uh, going back to your question, sir. In this case, both means ambos. Esa palabrita both significa ambos. So the question says over there, ¿Ustedes ambos o a ambos de ustedes les gusta el chocolate? Automáticamente cuando vemos both, que se está refiriendo a ambos, ya sabemos que ya no se está refiriendo solo a ti sino que se está refiriendo a ambos. Esa, esa palabrita podría venir también a ayudar al compañerito que hizo la pregunta antes, que decía, ¿habrá alguna manera de identificar? Muchas veces, o some, sometimes, you will have the word both, and that word both automatically will let you know that we're talking to more than one people. So that's why, the short answer over there, it says we. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question, guys? If there's no questions, I'm going to move on to the next one. 
No questions. Okay, perfect. Here we have the structure. Here we have the formula that we need to follow to create the questions. Here we have the formula. It says, first, an auxiliary. Second, a subject. Third, a verb. And the rest or is the complement. Then we have the yes or no answer. To make the answer, we will have to say yes or no first, then a subject, and then the auxiliary contracted or not contracted. Yes, so it will be, do you read books? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does Peter play football? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. But there's another way to make questions. And we can also use the WH questions. Guys, do you know which are the WH questions? Any of you knows which are the WH questions? What? What? Who? Who? Where? Where? When? When? Um, where? Where? Yeah. Why? Why? Very good. Um, How? It is also a WH question even though it starts with the letter H, but it's still there. Another one? Todavía me quedan tres. There's three that you haven't mentioned them. Which? Where? Which? Which? Very good. Oh. Oh, yes, but there are still two of them that you haven't mentioned. How? Oh, yes, but still we have two. We have whose and we have whom. Whose and whom. Those are the two ones that we were missing. Okay. So um, another way to create questions, it is adding after the auxiliary of the WH question. For example, we have over there, what do you play on your computer? What do you play on your computer? In this case, we cannot use the short answer we cannot use them. We will always have to give a full or complete answer. In this case, when we use a WH question, it won't be possible to use the short answer. Si yo hago la pregunta, what do you play on your computer? Is it okay if I say, yes, I do? Not right. It doesn't make sense. Si yo te hago la pregunta, ¿qué, qué juegas en tu computador? Y tú me dices, sí. Yes, I do. Si yo juego. But it doesn't give me anything. So when you use the WH question, remember that you will have to give a long answer, a complete answer. So what do you play in your computer? I play, what? I play games on my computer. So when does your mother go to work? When does your mother go to work? She goes to work at six o'clock. The last one, where did you meet your friend? I meet them at the bus stop. Okay, any questions so far? So far, so good. Teacher, en esta forma, entonces sí cambia el verbo con la tercera persona. O, um, Sí, ¿verdad? Porque no está como auxiliar el go. Only in answer. No, no, no. That's the, that's the answer. Do not get confused on that. That's the answer. Esa es la respuesta. 
But when it comes to the Ajá, question. Por eso, en, la en la respuesta, en las respuestas. Yes, it changes. En esta cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque siempre que utilicemos una WH question. Ya sea ah, porque la respuesta es afirmativa, ¿verdad? Sí, es afirmativa y siempre vamos a tener que buscar una respuesta mm. larga. No podemos mm -hmm. decir solamente yes I do o yes he does. No, it's going to be necessary for you to give a complete answer. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But that will be only for when you're using the WH question. Do not, do not forget that. If you only use the auxiliary, you can say, yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. But when you use a WH, it would always be necessary to give a full answer. Teacher. Yes. Eh, cuando se use la, la pregunta, cuando se formule la pregunta con W, eh, allí el verbo no cambia, pero na, a la hora de responder, Allí sí va a cambiar el verbo. Sí va a cambiar, pero ¿cuándo va a cambiar? Cuando sea la afirmativa en tercera persona. Exacto. Only affirmative third person. No more than that. Si te fijas en la primera que dice, what do you play on your computer? Aquí no estoy modif modificando verbo. ¿Por qué? Porque no es tercera persona. Pero sí, tengo que dar una respuesta larga. Y yo digo, I play video games or I play games on my computer. Pero como en la segunda, yo tengo your mother y your mother es una ella. So when it comes to the answer, I will have to modify it because I'm going to be using a third person. Uh, thank you. Okay. So any other question, guys? If there's no questions, I'm going to move on to the next one. En negativo, teacher, cambia también la respuesta. No. Remember... Siempre just... el, verbo, el verbo queda igual. Exactly. Yesterday, I told you that when it comes to the negatives, the verb doesn't change. Even though it is on third person, the verb in negative, it won't change. It will always, it will only change in third person. But in negative, no negatives, no questions, nothing on that, just positive third person. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. So, all right. So we have just a little bit of brief explanation. How do, how do we create, yes? If you can notice here, over here, aquí tenemos una oración simple en, en presente simple y tenemos, you speak English. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos para hacer esta oración? Pregunta. Easy, we just add the auxiliary at the beginning and we add a question mark at the end. Y ya con eso, we made it a question. And we say, do you speak English? That's it. We have another example over here. He speaks French. ¿Qué hacemos para formar la pregunta? Ponemos el auxiliar antes y decimos, does he speak French? You see, it's not that complicated. It's very easy. So, with that being said, guys, um, let's see. If you have a uh, Again, if you have a phone, if you're using your phone or if you're connected through your computer, please take a photo or take a screenshot because now we're going to work on Teams, okay? So and let me know when you, when you do that, okay? Do it right now. Is it on? Yes. Yeah. All right, let me go to the next one. Is it done? Yes. Yeah. All right, so those are the two exercises that we're mm -hmm. going to be. 
Sorry, eh, puede poner el primero. The first one? Sí. All right. Yes. Please. Go, go to the end. Oh my God, this is not working right now. Oh, just give me a moment. My computer doesn't want to work. All right. Okay. All right. There you have it. Okay. Done? Okay. Thank you. All right. So now, guys, we are going to work on Teams. Please, guys, try, try to speak a little bit English. Si no pueden expresarse completamente en inglés, at least try to do it. Just some words. Why? Because this is the time where you are going to practice. Yo sé que fuera de esta clase, nadie habla inglés. Y sería mentirnos, right? Because our environment outside, nobody speaks English. And if they do, they feel afraid. Algunos les da miedo. Y no dicen, ay, me voy a equivocar. No, try to do it. Al menos unas palabritas. Si no saben cómo decir la otra, utilicemos Spanglish, right? Utilicemos Spanglish, but it's necessary for you to speak. Me voy a estar metiendo a los grupos para verificar que todos participen. Me he venido fijando que solo unos dos o tres hablan y los demás completamente callados. So I need you to please be working on that, guys. Okay? So with that being said, let's go to the breakout rooms. Let me see, we are 20 today. Let's see. So, all right. Okay, so let's go right now. Hello, Eric Ramirez. What's going on? Are you there, sir? Lo que no sé si es que alguien lo puede hacer en la computadora o WhatsApp. O anotamos las palabras por número. Ajá. Ajá, eso podemos hacer. Quizás nos facilita un poquito más. No sé si ya le tomaron factura a eso para tener el sí. otro ya que puede compartir. Eh, por ejemplo, al inicio dice across, que creo que es cruzar. Um, um, down across across is horizontal horizontal y down is vertical ah <laughs> Vaya, entonces sería, eh, coaching, esa lo que tenemos que hacer es como poner la forma correcta del verbo. Yeah, right there. Ah, en tercera persona, sí. Right. Y es, esa. 
Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yes, la uno es yes. Stays. Stays. Bueno, no sé si así se pronuncia. Stays. 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 Push eh, sería A A A. Push. 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 Le vamos a agregar la E y la S. E. Push. Deliver 12. Uh, deliver 12. The number, the number, the number 12. And carry, 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 carry. Eh, el do Ay. es en el 7. Entonces, 7. En Joyce, en Joyce. Sería igual, vea, con S. Sí. Sí. En Joyce. El 7. El das. Das, ah. Push, pushes. Pushes. Es el ocho. Push. Oh, aquí está. Pushes. Mrs. Employ. Employer. Employ. Employees. Solo la S. Ah, solo la S. Employees. Uh -huh. Solo la S. 17. Live. 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 Solo la S también va. Ahí sí tengo duda. Sí, solo la S. Ajá, Lips. Lips. Ah, la pronunciación, ajá, sí, Lips. Lips. Solo la S. It. Ah, no, esa es normal, queda. It. It. Ajá. It. No, it's. Una S, it's.
No, yet. Coach, what is pronunciation? Down to. Down to. Annoy. Annoys. 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 In third person, annoys. Oh, very good. And in three. Fly. Flies, 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 flies. Only yes. I don't know. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot everything right now. I'm sorry. Flies. I think is e s yes. 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 Worries. Flies. Flies. Very good job, guys. And see that pretty much everything or every one of you is participating in the group. Very good. And answer is four. Four answers. Answer. Answers. Only yes. Ans Only answer. yes. It's also very nice. I want to congratulate to the one that are trying to speak a little bit of English. That's very good. I like that. Okay, keep on doing that. Thank you. Yes. Um, Linda. Fit. Their pet. Así sería. Lo vamos a dejar tal cual. Es que no sé. Does that Sara and Linda fit? Fit. Um, hey girl, since, fit there. since the moment that you have Sarah and Linda, you are not talking about one person. You are talking about two people. Das. No, it can be it can be das because remember das it is for do, do why? Because we're talking about Sarah and mm. Linda. Do Sarah and... Did someone disconnect from your group, guys? ¿Quién se desconectó? I remember you were four. No. Just three. Éramos cuatro. Cuatro. Four. Who disconnected? Do you remember the no.
estar pensando en la otra, en la otra pregunta. <risa> sí, fue la otra. 16, termina este. Ya, me, ya no me acuerdo en dónde iba. A ver si sale bien el dibujito. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, es el nueve, paz. Pregunta, ¿a alguien le sale bien la cuatro, la de Amster? Ajá, sí, la cuatro. Answers. Ah, ah, ans, ans, Como ya tiene la ER. Solo se le agrega ah, sí, la ¿verdad? S. Ajá. Es cierto. Se le agrega nada más la S. Ok, ok. Gracias. Compañero Eduardo, ¿cómo, cómo podríamos la tercera tomar sería la siguiente? Como, como el profesor revisó tu tarea prácticamente, ¿va? ¿Cuándo? Ajá. ¿Dónde, verdad? Cualquiera de esas dos podríamos usar. ¿When o where? Eh, sería... Porque habla del homework. Sería dónde. ¿Dónde? No, pero está... está... Es, hace alusión como a la revisión de la tarea to check. Ah, ah, sí, es cierto Ajá. Ajá. Sería como el profesor ¿Cuándo? revisó tu tarea o ¿Cuándo revisó tu tarea? Pero sería cuando sí. tu profesor revisó tu tarea, no Sí ¿Cuándo, cuándo siempre sería when? When, when Así When, when. Sí. when. when. When you to Well, okay, guys, I know that probably you were still working on the, on the second part because I saw that it took you a long time to resolve the first crossword. But if we do not finish uh, this today, we will start with that tomorrow, okay? Because I saw and I was checking that most of you complete the first part, but not the second. Am I right? Yes. All right, cool. So I'm going to say some names and these people is going to help me with uh, 
with some of the exercise number one. So Roxana, number one, Heidi Cermeño, number two, Hazel, three, Angelica, four, uh, Tatiana, five, Beatriz Inocente, six, Angelica Lasso, um, seven, Eduardo, eight, Rosa Maya, nine, and uh, number 10, Kelia Osorio. So go ahead, please. I just need the answers. Okay, number one. Teacher Crucigrama. Yes, the crossword. Okay, number one, stays. What did you add? What did you add to the verb? What letter? S T A H S. Stays. Okay. Number Stays. two. Number two. Annoying. Annoying. Very good. Number three. Number three. That. Number three, I'm sorry. Okay, any volunteer, please. Number three. That. Fly. Flies. Flies. Okay, number four. Answer. Answers. Answers. Okay. Answers. Number uh, number five. Enjoy. Enjoy. It's very good. Number six. Worries. Worries. Okay. Number seven. Does. 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 Correct. Number eight. Pushes. Pushes. Very good. Number nine. Likes. Likes. Very good. And the last one, number 10. Fixes. 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 Very good. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much for participating. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with the exercise that you didn't complete today. Please, one more time, um, congratulations to the people. I have, been, I have been checking the platform and I have noticed that some of you are working on the platform. Please keep on doing that work. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate and ask the questions through the group so I can help you. Or if you don't feel comfortable asking through the group you can text me personally and i can help you to resolve any doubt or something that you don't understand okay so okay. see you tomorrow guys thank you so much for Teacher, that. por favor comparte esa información que nos ha dado ahora en el grupo yes sure no problem i will do it after finishing the class okay so okay, good night, guys, you. and take care of yourself. Good night. 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 Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.